How many of you have received one of those long forwarded email chains claiming to cure all your problems? We like to set the record straight and stuff my mom forwards me. Here's one making the rounds. This picture warning people about enclosed hand dryers in public bathrooms is going completely viral. The post claims that all these fungi and bacteria grew in a Petri dish after just three minutes of having the hands inside the dryer. It's been shared over 500,000 times online. Hmm. So this was actually done, a, a young woman did this as a microbiology lab experiment and had the exposure for three minutes, but then it grew out over time, I believe about a week. So this was pretty So it serious. grew out a lot of funky stuff. Yeah. That's no, possible. Fungus, different bacterias, yeah. Mmm, what's for dinner? <laughs> you will never see me put my hands in those hand air dryers. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm, I'm sorry, but the fact of the matter is, if 500 other people, other men, have just used the toilet and their hands are, and they're putting their hands in there, I'm not. I. I that's going to be far dirtier than. That's the, not for me. Than the well, paper Well, towels. I think to your point, there are a number of conflicting studies, and and they are very interestingly like the one funded by the paper towel industry right. says that the hot air dryers scatter more viruses and bacteria. The ones funded by the hot air dryers say that no, paper towels are much worse. But I think. Personally, I think going back to the main idea is when you wash your hands after you go to the bathroom, you're just trying to get rid of the bacteria, right? So I think the big thing is when you're there and people just do a quick rinse, they're not really doing the 20 second happy birthday, proper wash, backs of hands, under nails, that's really gonna get rid of the bacteria. And I know that you're looking at me like that's not practical and that's not No, it, it is but important. that's what's gonna get rid of the bacteria no, but the it's viruses, important. however you choose to dry your hands. The hand wash I, I actually, the hand no, the, the, no but cool. it's not true and the reason for that is is that if you wash your hands for 20 seconds, sing happy birthday, and then you have to touch the faucet to turn it off, well, I'm sorry, but if the dude before you was sick and snotting everywhere, you, the, the virus is right back on your hand. And if the dude before you is snotting all over one of these machines and you touch it, <laughs> or at the well, airport, or at the, yeah. uh, at the airports now, they have this, are you happy with your service when you leave the bathroom and everyone's touching the smiley face? Do you guys <laughs> seen those? Yeah. Have, you not, have you not seen those? I love my national airport, but national airport now has no towels, and it's literally, are you happy with your service? And you see all these smear marks, and I'm thinking, the number of dudes that were in here taking a poop, a pee, sn like snotting in their hands, flu I don't season. I can wash my hands for 50 minutes, but there's all these places where everyone's still touching, and, and so to me, the most crucial time, I'm spitting on myself, I'm so passionate. <laughs> But you if you, think can, you, you can do everything right, probe? but if yeah. you don't crucially get out of that bathroom without reinfecting yourself, so to speak, it's all for naught. And, and the reality is that, that that is the dangerous time, whether you're in the airport, in an airplane, the, at the train station, here at work, you gotta be smart. And I'm telling you right now, the way things are right now, bathrooms are set up to screw us because they also, the knob, <laughs> you gotta grab it to open the damn door. Yeah. You're like, what? Every single dude has touched this knob that's today. Why, that's well, so why that's, you want that's a swinging why women door. You often don't... carry little tissue pouches and you all are antibacterial smart. wipes in our purses. You're smart. Um, actually, I learned this from you on this show. I actually prefer the paper towels because I like your tip about take the paper towel, turn the faucet back off, yep. which I think is a great tip, and then hang on to that paper towel, open that door, and then toss it in the next trash can. I think at least that's gonna spare some of that, but I guess to, the, to your point about the airports that don't have paper towels anymore, then you're gonna have to start packing your own antibacterial wipes. Or well, tissue. and just be aware, I still use the air dryers from time to time, but I think as much as anything, just remember, if you've washed your hands, okay, let's just say they're clean. You gotta remember, now they're the clean zone. Now what am I gonna do to keep them clean? Yeah. I mean, heck, this time of year, everyone is, is sick out there.